60 minutes overtime. So let's start with the Pope arriving on set of the third interview. Early afternoon, the giant Pope mobile. <laughs> Our story this week is about the making of the new Pope Francis documentary, directed by Wim Wenders. Bit of an odd pairing, this auteur who's done all sorts of experimental film and features doing this full-length documentary on the sitting Pope. Yeah, la manera para escapar del consumismo, de la corrupción, de la competitividad, del estar aprisionado por el dinero, es lo concreto del trabajo cotidiano, lo concreto. It's his eyes who are the film. His eyes are what make this? Yeah. When did you realize that? It was in the last couple of weeks that I didn't look at anything else anymore in the film. I always looked at his eyes and I realized that was the flow of the film. Se vive con el acelerador puesto desde la mañana hasta la noche. What is the effect of having the Pope look you dead in the eye and say what he has to say in this film. The eye contact is what makes this film. That's what knits this whole film together. You watch this film and you almost feel like this is a personalized message from the Pope. Wim Vender set this up intentionally. I mean, his belief was that the subject's going to be more candid, not when they're looking face to face to an interviewer, but when they're looking at a monitor. So he uses a device called an interotron. It was first devised by, by Earl Morris, which is basically it's sort of like a teleprompter with an image on it. Which is an interesting name. It's like an interrogation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Errol Morris was on 60 Minutes 2 talking about why he invented the interotron. Yeah, right. You can say things on the phone that you would never ever in a million years say to someone who is sitting directly across from you. And the Interatron, my interviewing machine, plays on that idea. Yeah, I, I think the, the strategy behind this device, the inventors call it a system, was that we lose our inhibitions a little bit, that um, when we look into a device, it makes us more comfortable, probably makes us a little bit more candid. What does this get you? This ability to create an interview where someone is talking to me and it's as if they're talking directly to the audience. The Pope just really saw a screen with me on it and he reacted to that and he made it look so natural and so simple as if we had sat face to face. He had next to the cameras a little loudspeaker, he heard me loud and clear and I had earphones. I was 20 meters away. It's like a FaceTime call. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like a FaceTime call, and it achieved the effect, which was you really have the sense that the Pope was very comfortable, loosened up. I think it allowed the filmmaker to capture a truer version of the Pope. I think that was the intent, and I think um, it, it paid off beautifully. Entonces, cuando yo les digo que se involucren en la vida de la gente, les estoy hablando de cercanía. Que hablen poco. Escuchen mucho, digan lo justo y miren siempre a los ojos. 